Hey guys, so with the announcement of DC Dual Force shutting down, we've taken the opportunity to explore other games. I asked for community feedback and we got a list for 20 games all within the auto battler or card game genre. We put these all on a spin wheel and every stream we spin three times and the viewers vote on the game for the next stream. As I only started streaming six to seven months ago and had a very busy job before that, I missed out on a lot of games. So this list includes some older games, such as today's feature, Gwent. Many people refer to Gwent as a dead game, as the developer support has been removed and it is now community run, including a balance council, where high ranked players vote on changes to make to cards. However, no new content gets added, hence it being referred to as a dead game. But Gwent is the sexy type of dead, like a vampire. It is enticing and complex, and for a player who has never touched it before, like myself, it has a wealth of content to explore and a huge amount to learn. In terms of knowing how to play versus knowing how to win, the gap is vast. So enjoy a few games at various stages of my first day playing it, and if you like the content and want to see more games being explored, or if you want to catch the next Gwent video when it comes back in about 5 weeks when it rotates back onto the wheel, please consider subscribing and liking the video. Thanks! Hello guys, so here we are, first Gwent stream. So we did the tutorial and it was pretty good. Uh, I think I've got a very good idea of how to play, I think, I hope. Uh, so <clears throat> here we are, first standard game, it says it's time to say try standard mode, I have no idea whether it will actually be versus the bot, I have literally one deck and it's a starter deck. So let's hope we're not going to end up versing someone with like a full collection. I feel like this is probably scripted, but we will see. Close ranks. Right, so, now you can read all three cards, but given that I, to be honest, don't even know what's in my deck, I don't know what to do. So I think I'm going to keep all of these. <clears throat> we go first, so we've got tactical advantage. I'm going to start with this. Aye, aye, sir. And end turn. Our leader allows us to boost an allied unit, which basically gives us one attack. Attack and health are like the same thing. Is it? Okay, so Dominance, ability condition requiring you to control the highest power or tied for highest unit in play. So, basically, if it's the highest power unit in play, which they were able to do by boosting here. Um, they have a different... They were able to boost out of range, and to be honest, I don't even know. We had a Geralt, I think. So let's... Not your lucky day. Get rid of that. At the moment, I... There's, there's two different rows you can play into. And I'm not 100% certain which one is the row you should be playing into. If either. There are effects that affect, like, a row. Hey, Delectables. Hey, Zenji, how you going? Uh, what have they done? So deploy, if they have dominance, summon all to self from your deck to the throw, that's fine. Use our leader to boost this once. Fine. Summon another copy. We want to play a not very strong card, because if we do... On your forehead if you like. We'll, um, we run the risk of them retreating. So you play three rounds and any cards you don't use carry over to the next round. And the idea is to have the most power on the board, as is shown over here. So our opponent has just fogged, I believe. Sorry, frosted. And frost is at the start of the owner's turn, damage the highest power unit on its road by two. So they've gone back into the lead. That seems like a really great way to swing it later, but I'm going to use this now. 
So again, the more cards we can avoid using... Hey, Sibsloth. The more cards we can avoid using, uh, the better. So we want to win with our least powerful possible cards or get them to play a really powerful card. Deathwish. So we want to make sure we don't kill that because Deathwish is basically death rattle hiding shot. I wonder if this boosts itself. Fun to find out. So you'll see there's a deploy melee and a deploy ranged effect. So melee is if you play it in the front row. No, you can't boost itself, so we should have saved that. That's the only one that has it. So deploy melee is if you play it in the front row, deploy range is if you play it in the back row. Oh damn. We should have saved up the uh that card we played before that dealt damage to everything in a row. So we don't wanna play this out this round. I might just play What's it do? Damage by one. We're winning by two currently, so I'm going to hold on our... Because we've only got three charges on our leader, so we can only use it three times. Um, so... And then it spawns Larian Scytheman, which... By the way, Super Sloth, how many units can you have in a row? No audiences. Uh, this has a charge. Formation means that you can use the charge straight away, whereas normally you can't. Nine in a row. One, two, three, four, five, six. So we're going to boost that. I guess the boost plus it deals damage, which is the same as power. We're now five ahead. There we go. So there's the pass from them. We will obviously pass as well. We win this round, we get half a crown. It's basically a best of three. And any cards we don't use, we get to keep. Which is why we were trying not to play anything too strong out early. Right, Redanian Elite. I don't really like these cards, because if they have armor removal, then there's just one power cards. Because uh, the exposed keyword means if they lose their power. Okay, that's one of the reasons why we didn't want to use all of our leader powers before. Um, I'm going to chuck one of the Lyrian Scythe back. Because we didn't have a lot of boost units. I'll just redraw the thought there. Because we won first. Oh, we should have used the Tactics card. If you go first on the first round, you get a tactics card, which I did not realize goes away. All right, we're going to play one of these, Long live the king. which we really shouldn't have, to be honest. Hello, Revark. The reason we shouldn't have is that if any of our boost units are played on this and they remove the armor, then it loses all of the boost it's gotten, not just the boost it gave itself. Okay. So they've played this in the back row, but it's got order, which is an activated ability, melee. And the back row is ranged. So this unit's now effectively nothing but a five. Only bleed if you're sure you can get ahead. What do you mean by bleed? I'm just gonna drop this for the moment. It'll potentially lose effectiveness next round. You didn't need to play round two? Oh, so I could have just passed, lost the round on purpose, and then been matched for cards. I get you. Right, so I could pass right now. I've already got this out on the board, so I should just pass. Okay. Interesting that they played Fog. I'm pretty sure this is an AI. Because Fog's a good card to play when it actually gets all of its goodness. Alright, so we have two of the Lyrian Scythemans. Boost, 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 boost. Deploy locker units. Lock, a unit with a status has its abilities disabled. Statuses are not affected. Interesting. And it's six power, so I am just going to keep these. Oh, it's deploy, not order. Whoops. Shouldn't have kept. Sorry, that is a death wish spawn. Interesting. He hasn't shown many things to kill his own recruits. We are going to be probably killing his recruits. When we drop that, we can chuck this to the left of it, which means every round this will go up by one and damage by one. Alright, there's 
Never mind. Sorry, so that's damage unit by two, and then dominance also spawned frost, which meant that we took another two off the start. Hey, J. Kenny. The, um, I did not realize I'd played that card. Oh, yes, I did. This row has frost on it? No. Where's the frost gone? I might use this lock his death wish out. Not that I think we're going to be removing any power from them. Last so many turns? Yeah, but he literally just played it. Like, it was that turn he played it. Oh, it's... Right, it says spawn for one turn. I see. The other version of Frost I'd seen was one. Boost an ally unit by the duration of Frost on its own opposite row. Right, well, that's nothing. I want to try and play this close to the end so they have less chances to deal with it. And then uh, a revark on the seven game watch streak. I'm going to do that. End turn. I hope this is an AI because I'm taking forever on my turns. Damage a unit by five. Damn it. I was considering boosting it as well, but I didn't want to waste the Scytheman. I want this now so we can drop the Scytheman. Why this dead game? There's a difference between dead and dying. <laughs> and also, I thought it'd be fun. Alright, deploy boost an allied unit. Okay, so that one doesn't do anything either. Okay, so we can play the Lyrian Scytheman. Who gains boost based on the number of boosted units in the row. Which is like real big power. Well, relatively speaking. Six versus... Oh, what did they just do? What's that? They just damage a unit by five. They just damaged their own unit. That doesn't tell me what they damaged. It just tells me what they played. How do I make this box go away? And just keep spamming the Scytheman, I guess. We've got no way of boosting this, so it doesn't need to go on the same row. I oh, actually, we could play this and then boost and then increase the armor on this. They pass. Oh, yo, we just win. I don't need to do anything. This may inspire me to finish Thronebreaker. Oh, I heard of Thronebreaker. It's quite difficult, eh? Any last words? Okay, we go first. Alright. No queen to toss back. Have an engine. Uh, we... Yep. Nagelfar. And Al's great stat dump. We do, probably don't need two of them. Eh. I'm pretty sure we could have gone for a more synergistic hand. So is this limited to... No. Check it here. Next turn on each enemy row, watch Frost is applied already. So I could go double Nagel Far Crew and then NL, but oh, but then I'll and then I'll still have my um, leader ability for Aristocrat's always first set up. Is she not a deploy? Long live the king. Oh, it's at the end of your turn. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Uh, I was just assuming it was deployed, to be honest, which obviously is not correct. So we just dump her, right? Um, I need... That... To get dominance. Buff her. Okay. Uh, is she limited by... Doesn't matter where she's played. Oh, good. Doesn't that put her in range of Geralt, though? And isn't she more important than this? Also, maybe I should have used my leader there. And do I want to avoid pulling my queen out yet? Because I could pull my queen out, like, next turn by using this and a uh, Nagel Farko. Well, they've got one of their things out. On an enemy row for two turns, at the end of your turn, if there's frost in the opposite row, boost self by one. Nagel Far Crew? Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I was looking at. Your souls will propel and then 
I can put this here, but I don't think I want to pull the queen out yet, right? Because we're already sitting nice. Oh yeah, nah, because we're growing, we're growing like heaps. Again and again and again. If I save that for next round, in case we don't get an engine. Play a bruiser, yeah, so I'll move the back row card. And then we play this, yeah, play this here so we get the bonus from our passive. And then if we're lucky, the, um, yes! I was going to say, if we're lucky, the frost hits. Oh, it's always the highest power unit, so it was always going to hit this. Right, I thought the frost was random. Okay, that brings a whole new level of uh, thinking about it. So that should really pass here, right? They should pass while they're a card up. Yeah. Okay, so we're one card down, but I still have great stuff in hand. Oh, we have another wild hunt hound. So, rider to thin. I think I keep all of this. Well, I don't I don't think I need to go long. I think we're in a position to overpower them. Push with Nithril? Which one was Nithril? Yeah. Yeah. Uh so should I play the Nithril? No, I should play the Wild Hunt Hound first, right? Um, doesn't matter which row he goes in. Yeah, well, so I figure Nithril next when there's actually something to shoot. Oh, never mind. You can't... Oh, I should have played the Nithril because you can't play the, um... Water ability on turn one. This doesn't have Zealous or Formation. No, no. What's no, no? Is two per turn. Engine Hound is one per turn. Yeah, so I should have gone with Nithril first. I goofed. Mistakes were made. Yeah, I, um, to be honest, I realized it Last word. after. Because we played a lot of formation and uh, zeal. Is it zeal? We pl we played uh, several units uh, in some of the bot games that... Uh, should I frost this row to get rid of this? So that the damage thing's gone? I feel like I should. Oh, right. We make certain the nightfall is ever sated. And now I should pull out my queen? Right, because I think we can overwhelm them. Especially because the Geralt's down. I'm... No? Okay. Wait. Yeah, I suppose actually there's a lot to see what may happen. Ah, uh, now see... That needs to be gotten rid of. Badly. So I'll parasite that to get dominance back. Uh, does dominance work if you're tied? Like if I play an L Conqueror, will we still have dominance when they're tied with us? And I guess parasite just guarantees it. It will work if we're tied. I'm gonna do the parasite because this will die. And then he can't shoot my shit. Okay. South by six. We don't have any armor removal. Order. Oh, we didn't do the order last round. Whoops. Oh, wait. Oh, we didn't have dominance. Shit. Uh, Red Rider for two rows. On an enemy row for two turns. Spawn on both rows. But I still don't have dominance. Yes, I will have dominance because that'll go down to... Alright, what does she do again? Uh, once both players have passed, boost self by two for each turn of frost remaining. That's right. And then... If the king demands a head, I'll give him yours. I could try and pull my golden child, dude. Do I need to? You can try using Nagelfar to play your Echo card. Echo. Uh, 
Ah. I thought this only picked... I didn't... I thought Nagelfar couldn't grab that at Phantom. Okay. That's all we need. Contract complete gives me chills. Right, there's so much frost. Oh, order. My god. Cooldown one. Goes every turn. And now I can't use it. <laughs> Alright. So we've missed, what, two orders? Already? Uh, we still have dominance. Four points? Yeah. Yeah, because we had dominance. Wait. Oh, yeah, because we had dominance at the time. Doesn't matter where I summon this. And I've been saving this till last in case we do end up passing. Now, actually, you can use your leader to move cards. Wait, can my leader move cards? Move an enemy unit to the other row and spawn frost. Ah, cool. Cool, 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 cool. Army's a waste of time for one like me. Uh, that is in the incorrect place. Okay. Order. But its order ability is already gone. That's a deploy. Let's deploy. Might move that. Play that. And then can they come back in three cards? So whatever they play here will move out of the row, so this definitely dies. Uh, damage a unit by one. Okay, do they have any buffs left? No, they've used all of it, so it's only one damage. And what does Bale do do? Status that prevents gaining statuses. And... I mean, is it even possible for them to catch up? I feel like it's not possible for them to catch up. <laughs> Did that Lyrian Scytheman not even get buffed at all? I feel like that Scytheman, he was trying to... So what we'll do is I'm gonna... I'll, get into, I'll go into another game and I'm gonna minimize chat. I'm gonna minimize the window. So you guys can continue to comment on misplays and things like that but i won't be able to use you guys for guidance so we'll do that for a game we'll see how we fare i would get reward points so we get to if we finish rank higher we get to unlock even more stuff that's cool all right i see a queen so we'll be tossing that we go first toss that we've got a crew Got the aristocrat. Uh, we've got three engines I can see. We don't need two aristocrats. Don't want both riders. Okay, so... With me having the token, I think the hunt is better than the aristocrat in this situation. Uh, the hound, because I can boost. So we'll start with that. But not boost it yet. Um, and then we probably aristocrat into the crew unless they split their rows. At which point we can aristocrat into riders. Oh, but this boosts as well. Don't have a foglet. We will want to rider out this round. So I'll start with that i won't use my boost yet because we still have dominance and then okay so we've lost dominance so we'll need to use the boost and we will crew front do that Dominance on 
They both go to nine, so Gerald will kill both. She's got a more persistent effect. I've got heaps of frost effects in hand, so it's... Mind you, he's going to grow continuously anyway. I'll boost here. Okay. It's down. And then, if I can, I'll avoid playing Eridan last, so we can hold for next round. So next round, we've got the Phantom and the Glass, if we don't need to use them. Ah, traps. We have not really played in against traps. So if I dump the Riders... Ah, uh, we still have Dominance. Oh, no! I don't know if they're still there. Whoa. Uh, split six damage randomly between all enemy units. That's fine, we still have Dominance. Oh man, that's that's going to be super annoying if they continue to do that. And then, lay at the end of your turn, boost a random unit in your hand by one. Okay, so we need to move that. If it's a dwarf, also give it... Wait, what? Ah, oh, my godness. What is that? I feel like they just played two cards. Oh no, spawn and play tempering. Wait, can they do that every... That doesn't have a cooldown. Or a charge indicator. So I assume that's once per game. Uh, we lost dominance. Which means... I should... And could... Just parasite. Keeps them low. We still get another boost here. Uh, we're miles ahead... Currently... Tree and boar. Still have dominance. Control a uh, order. Move self to the range row, then heal self. Order range, move self to the melee row, then damage an enemy unit. Right, okay. So that can keep bouncing backwards and forwards, but it's two every two turns. Man, I hope this doesn't affect our turn timer. Uh, Karen Thea's too early. We have two red riders in deck. Fuck's sake, man. That is easily the most annoying thing. So if I... We still have dominance... We spread, and then use her to move that to the back, because it's a melee ability. Which I'm surprised they hadn't used already, to be honest. Alright, and they should probably pass, I think, because we're so far ahead. Okay. They're not passing, which is, I feel, an interesting choice. Okay, what does Barricade do? Okay, and then your turn boosts self by one. Okay, still have Dominance right now. Uh, they're only three off. We're even on cards. Oh my freaking goodness. Is there any chance they're doing that on purpose? Um, I'm going to move this back to clear the armor. So it doesn't keep boosting. Also, it's a relatively low value card. That can jump into the front row, deal three again. If you control a dwarf, summon all copies. Okay. Still have dominance. If we drop this, they're going to pass, and then we're going to be a card down. But they can definitely come back here. So that'll heal by two. So they'll go up to 34. If we... These two are going to grow by two. Okay, I'm going to play this. I'm not sure if it's correct. It'll deal the damage here when they start. Yeah. Yeah, we should have passed. But this is huge next turn. The question is, are they running Gerald in their deck? So I don't know enough. I I'm guessing they don't have Devotion. Alright, I have the Red Riders. We have the NL. There's a growing unit. And then 64422. Four, two. So this will lose 2 damage every time I don't use it. So that loses 2. This gains 1. That creates an extra Frost. So that will go out first. 
because I can't with my current hand get it bigger than it is. Is that okay? That's where we're putting our frost. We're not doing frost straight away. Well, hang on. If we move that forward, so it doesn't get the boost. And then we get a boost here as well. Plus the end turn boost. Plus, you know, dominance for what it's worth. We have... Oh, we actually do have one dominance for a lion card. They obviously can't pass because we are ahead. So, in fact, we're miles ahead currently. Bro, sort out your connection. It's an allied unit by two. Does a dwarf also give it four armor? Yo, that thing's scary as hell. Okay, we'll play there now. Can't actually get rid of that yet. And then we have Red Riders into Wild Hunt Bruiser. They have four cards though. There's a consideration for passing here and just preserving these two. Um... Game Vitality equal... Right. I've used this. We still have dominance. Uh, three cards. Can they make up 14 in... Plus we continue to grow. Spread and push... I guess... That back? Because that's got too high an armor. And doesn't affect its attack power. Um, unfortunately, that is going to keep growing. Why would you damage a random enemy unit and self? Oh, random enemy unit. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Alright. And we will... No matter where we play this. That. That way we can get rid of the armor. I don't know. I feel like I probably should have passed before we played the Red Riders. It's a little... I mean, that, that's that's definitely one of those things that comes with experience, is those choices of when to pass. Because it seemed very much like I could win from the position we were in. Um, they had two more cards to play. Yo, why did that just go down? Oh, they did the damage self. Oh, yeah, no, 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 but that's fine. I'm not even worried about that. Uh, there's no way they make up 13 power here. Okay, they got pretty close, to be honest. So definitely should have been... Should have considered a pass uh, before Red Riders. Maybe even earlier. I mean, I could have potentially scooped quite early in the round. Well, while we reset... It might be time to spin for tomorrow's play. Hang on, let's spin the wheel. You'll do it? Alright. First game on is Fairy Tale Fables. Second game. Is Legends of Runeterra. Um anyway, the uh there will be a choice of games to vote for for what tomorrow's stream will be. And backpack battles. Oh no. This man's rank 25. He's unlocked the ability to check his stats. No. Uh, there's our echo card. Rider. Boggle it. That's good early. Brothers. Let's roll. This is, this is too good. Do I jam a Gurn? I don't think we've had Gurn very first turn before. Because I've got all my engines. But then he just keeps getting weaker, right? Or do I still just jam the Nithril first? Around and Gwent, you make a really good meta deck, then grind for another. Uh, in DC Dual Force, I was constantly the sort of person with that was like, you can win with any deck, it doesn't need to be meta. But I was also collection complete like months ago. 
You can jam the throw. Yeah. Because then her ability might be usable next turn. And then if I lose dominance, I can jam the gurn. But I probably want to jam the gurn anyway. Saw the cards in your, in your deck from highest to lowest provision costs. Move self up by one position in the deck for each tactic in your starting deck. Holy shit. This man is playing... Seize an enemy unit with five power or less. The hell? What the hell? Bro, this man's playing 3D chest and I'm playing 2D. I don't know what's going on. Oh, we don't have dominance. Jam the gun. Pop that there. Brings back memories. Yeah, well, Devil Days, you kept coming in and telling me that I was coping. He can steal your card? Can he? Five power or less. Oh, you're meaning that's what his ability does. Yep, I get you. Kind of remember that game, DC something, if I'm not careful. Yeah, well, I've got not good ways to boost stuff, right? Give spying to three units with provision costs of 10 or less from your opponent's deck, then spawn base copies of them into your deck. Boost self by one for each prov provision below the limit. Order banish up to three cards from your starting deck, from your deck, while in hand or deck evolve after you win a round. What is evolving? Hoglet? <laughs> oh, Foglet's... No, I can't Foglet. I can Foglet, I just have to lead a power first. I mean, I just have to lead a power as well. But like, this man's just gonna get stronger and stronger, right? If he win round, that card transforms? Ah. Oh, you reckon Nagelfar crew? Wait, why does both of his units go back? I only moved one of them back and both of them ended up in the back row. What did I say about you coping? Oh, while I was still playing DC Dual Force. Because I think you'd moved on to a different game at the time. Uh, so the memory is probably a little bit harder for you, Devil Ds. Oh, whoops. That's not nice of me. Oh, wait, hang on. Did Oh, I fucking used both my charges. I was not supposed to lose both my charges. Whoopsie. Um, I feel like he can steal these. How often can he steal? Oh, hang on. Oh, I can only do it once. Yeah, the riders was my thought. But he's not, um... His abilities are one once-off use, right? Based on what it says there. Oh, I forgot to use the fucking order ability. And I forgot to use both of the order abilities. You even said use advantage. Um, forget to use order again. Yeah, I was just, uh, just being sad about that. <laughs> and if I insert a Veil, assimilate, deploy, give an enemy unit spying. Set a supply to more automatically to destroy units. Enables conspiracy abilities. Boost self by one or the specified amount whenever you play a card that is not from your starting deck. I can't pass now. Fuck, I did it again. And then Nagelfar crew, probably? Your souls will propel this launch. I'm still really annoyed that this double used. I, I definitely had not intended for both charges to go. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, five. This is the game we lose. Okay, good. There's the Toad Prince. We have so much frost. So that might be good. It might be game using. Ah, oh, so I should have still... Yeah, because I was miles ahead, right? So even though the orders hadn't been used, I should have just... What is Toad... Toad Prince? The Toes Prince, Devil Ds. He sneaks around under the table and he waits for you to take your shoes off. Nah, he uh, he kills a unit with, uh, consumes a unit with four or less power. That'll be that. On the plus side, this dude's going to be huge. Ah. Right. 
forgot about that. That's a bit awkward. I don't have a foglet or anything, right? Do I ever just pass now? I'm at seven cards. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We have to push anyway? Okay. Get good, scrub. Hey, Revark, remember that friendly match we did? Nope, nope. Ah, oh, right, fair enough. No friendly matches. Zero friendly matches. Still have Echo, yeah. Whoa. They stole my dude. That's fucking rude. All right, we play it because we can get it back. Even though it doesn't really do much for us. This dies. He can't afford to pass. We have the Osral. Five, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> Spawn and play a base copy of any disloyal, disloyal unit you gave spying to during this game, excluding self. Huh. I am... Okay. He got a Winter Queen out of my deck too. Yeah, do I just pass? This looks like a loss to me. 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I mean, arguably I could toad the Winter Queen, but that seems dumb. Red Riders? Okay. Okay, we're, we're gonna... Because, I mean, he doesn't really need to do anything here. Although... Oh, right. Right, because then our Caranthea keeps stacking up. So building up to that for next turn. So if he passes, we just win this round. What does this do? Create and play a bronze card from your opponent's faction. Man, what's up with this Thief Rogue? Half this unit's base power, then spawn a copy with the same base power on this road. We need to bleed the golds from him. Okay. But like, how? Okay. Well, that looks pretty good. Oh, it's got a eye on it. Is that eye going to be a problem? Neglift for Parasite? Ugh, I didn't take Parasite. What would we have parasited? Probably this. I'm just kind of hoping to force him to keep playing. An artifact. We don't have an artifact, right? I mean, I want to keep it going for the frost, don't I? This is not helpful anymore. That doesn't really do anything. Toad to eat queen? Okay. Wait, why was that only two damage? Isn't it supposed to be three? I could have sworn that only took three. Maybe I wasn't looking correctly. What is truth Create and play a one power copy of a bronze unit from your starting deck. Flanking. Ah! Oh, shit, man. I didn't even realize it was a dominance ability. They are 30 power ahead. I can absolutely make up 30 power. Okay, yep. That was what I was thinking. Does he have any row specific stuff? I guess I'll put this here. Uh, there it is. That balances the scales significantly. 46422. I believe the twos are about to get replaced. Did I get dominance back? I did. I definitely did. Alright. Spawn and play a base copy of a non-disloyal bronze unit. If I play this, we go into the next round two to none. So this is a loss, right? He only loses six. We gain nothing. So this will be a pass so that I can play this next round. Oh, hang on. He has to keep playing. He has to keep playing because we've already won one. No. no. <laughs> I don't know what you were knowing to. Uh, he has two engines. What's the second one? I honestly don't know what most of his board does. The only thing I know that it does is that one because it's ours. He stole it off us. Bro, why did he just get to play something like three times? Okay, they're one card up. What's it? Which one's... Why would you trade your best card? I don't know, man. 
trying to work that one out yourself. Myself. Um, I don't know what else is left in the deck. I think we've got a fog thingy. There's no chance we win against Skellen. What's Skellen? Is that the leader that we were versing? Yeah, I don't know where to check what's left in the deck. No, we don't have gold? Okay. Like, I know I can check here. I just don't know where to check on the screen. Do I enjoy torture? Red Riders, two bruises. Oh, we had two NLs. I did, did we not play NL early? Stay no units. Play the Echo. Doesn't it gain more value if I... I suppose he's probably just not going to play into the back row. Okay. Well, I assume I just parasite that, right? Ugh. Oh, nah, that was the wrong choice because it has the assimilate thing. Oh no, the assimilate's not, I'm thinking of Thrive. An interesting not on this ship. Ah, destroy an ally unit and then summon the top unit from your deck. Ow. Right, that is GG. They've got, oh, they've got one card. But still, that's GG. What does flanking do? Seed is adjacent to only one card on your melee row. Its end of turn ability is triggered twice on your range row against one armor at the end of the owner's turn. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to lose here. Oh, wait. That's on the melee row. Uh, its end of turn triggers are triggered twice on the range row against one armor. I know even we have keep Karanthur. We have Vilgforts. What's Vilgforts? Because I do think we should have passed with the Karanthur still in hand before. Mind you... I still don't understand how we did so much damage. It was... I didn't check the card. That is all I need. Wait, what just happened? Yo! Wait! What just happened? Guys, please explain to me what just happened. Like, I got a 1-1. One, one. He's not Devotion. Did he just try and steal my unit?